Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 4, window.load function versus document.ready function brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the major difference between the window.load function as well as the document.ready function. So the main difference is that the window.load event triggers or fires when the DOM and also the content on the web page which includes images, CSS, etc. is fully loaded. I mean the window.load event triggers only when the complete package that is the DOM as well as the content on the web page is fully loaded. But on the other hand, the document.ready event or function fires as soon as the DOM loads. It does not wait for the other content like images and CSS etc. So now let me show you a demo. Let me jump into Visual Studio and I have selected an empty web template and this is my web template. As of now what I am going to show you is like what is the difference between the window.load and document.ready function. So um, what I'll do is first let me drag and drop my jQuery file. Okay, I've done that. So let me write something which give us a brief demo or brief idea about the disk about the difference between document.ready as well as window.load. So now what I'll do is first I'll tell dollar window dot load I'm going to call an event function inside that so what I need to do is I'll just push a alert message telling like okay uh, okay window is ready okay now what I'll do I'll just call the document dot ready document dot ready your I have to function so what I need to do is I, I need to just push a message telling like Okay, uh, document is ready. Control S. Now, what I need to do is I need to execute this page and I want to show you like which one will push the message first, whether the window or the document or the load or the ready function. I mean like which one will get executed first whether this or this part as I said you the DOM will load the document dot ready function will get triggered first because it just looks for the DOM once the DOM is loaded this part of the message will get executed but window is not like that this window dot load function will get executed only when the DOM as well as the other content on the web page that is CSS image etc is completely loaded only that time will get this message so uh, now what I'll do is now I'll press Control F5 to push this page to the browser and once the build has succeeded it will take us to the okay uh, to the browser and my browser is Chrome as of now so you can observe we are not getting any output why because let me tell you I'm using jQuery 3.1.min.js version but keep in mind the load method what I'm using right now of window okay it was deprecated in jQuery version 1.8 but it's been removed in the jQuery version 3 dot so load method is not present in this version so what I need to do is I need to take the earlier versions of jQuery that is um, below 3 that is 2 dot something so what I'll do is I want to I want the jQuery file of 2 dot version so where do I get it I need to click on the solution project then I need, I need to right click then I have to select manage new get packages this is a library where we'll get the required files so I need to search for jQuery okay once I do that I'll get it here and right now what I need to do is I need to okay uh, Okay, I need to download the jQuery version so let me wait for that and here is my jQuery and now I need to select the jQuery version below 3 dot okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this version okay any version between 1.8 and uh, 
3.0 so what I'm doing right now I'm downloading the jQuery file okay of version 2.2.1 so in this version of jQuery the load method is present so what I'll do right now I'll comment this I need to add the file which I need that is jQuery 2.2.1 min.js yes now I've done that when I do control s let me go back to my browser and let me rerun it okay you can observe the first message what we are getting is document document is ready but let me go back to my visual studio and here you can observe we have written this code first then this one but uh, as I said you the ready function triggers as soon as the DOM is loaded so we're getting a message document is ready once I click on that okay the next message what I get is window is ready so what I'm doing right now here is okay the, this window dot load function triggers only when the DOM as well as the other content on the web page that is image CSS etc is loaded so we'll get this message at the second and this at the first so to give you a clip clear uh, image of this uh, session what I'll do is right now uh, let me take a image of uh, okay now I'll go back to my Chrome I'll look up for HD images HD wallpaper something like that so I need a image okay now let me click here let me select this and now what I need to do is I need a image of large width and height so let me make use of these tools size larger than 4 or let me give this 40 MP okay now I'm going to get that image as of now so let me take this image so view image I'm going to copy the URL of that as of now so this is the URL control S C now I'll come back here and I'll give the path of it control S okay now let me go back and let me close this okay now let me close this now what I'll do is I'll just hit enter now you can observe the first message what we'll get, get is document is ready and now you can observe we are not getting the message as the window is ready why because that window dot load function is waiting for the image to be loaded completely on the web page only when it is completely loaded we'll get that message the window is window is ready okay let me scroll it down okay you can observe still the image is loading so that's the reason you can observe here still it's getting loading it's a very big image so when do I get that uh, message that is document is ready I'll get that message only sorry window is ready only when this image is completely loaded this is what the difference between the document dot ready function and window dot load function window dot load function will wait for the DOM as well as the other content of the web page to be loaded then only it will uh, look up for the other things you can observe here now we got window is ready why because this image is loaded completely okay I hope you understood um, the difference between the window dot load function as well as the document dot ready function okay and let me go back to presentation and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Lang Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer websites we're on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you.